Okay, there's a new Adobe Illustrator AI tool called Turntable, and it's absolutely incredible. Turntable allows you to turn 2D drawings or vector or artworks into 3D with different perspectives without having to redraw. Meaning if you have a flat drawing, it will automatically using AI generate different angles and perspectives and it will look super 3D. So it's really amazing. I definitely recommend. So if you don't have Adobe Illustrator yet, then check out the link in the description below. And for this particular tool, it's in Adobe Illustrator beta. Beta is for the tools that aren't fully developed yet. So it's beta, they're working on it, and they usually come out first in the beta app. And once it's all developed and settled, it will come in the actual Adobe Illustrator apps. So you're basically looking, gazing into the future of Adobe Illustrator. And you're one of the first to try it out, which is awesome before it's even in Adobe Illustrator. But it's so good, you have to try it. So anyway, if you don't have the Adobe Illustrator beta app yet, which I didn't until I just downloaded it, just click on install and allow it to be installed. Now for today, I will be using a file that I created for this. But if you did want all these files, they're actually all different drawings and files from my Adobe Illustrator beginners class where I teach you how to draw these and how to illustrate and really basic Adobe Illustrator tools, the pen tool. So check it out if you want. Otherwise, go ahead and grab your own vectors and drawings and let's go and make sure you open it with Adobe Illustrator 2026 beta. So we're gazing into the future. All right. Now, once you have Adobe Illustrator beta open, what's super important is that you have the properties panel because that's where turntable will be. So to do this, go to window and tick properties or make sure it's ticked and it will appear over here. Now, the next thing you need to make sure is that whatever object or drawing you're using, it has to be grouped. Now to group something, you select with the selection tool V, the whole object and you right click and you go group or command or control J and the option might also be over here. All right, so I'm going to start with the best one, my favorite, because I am a shoe designer after all. And so I'm going to try this with this shoe. I do want to let you know that if I select this object, the turntable shows up here. Awesome. If I select another object, this one, yes, turntable is here. It's two objects grouped. If I select this one, it seems to have turntable. If I select this one, it doesn't seem to have turntable available. And I think it's because it's a single piece. It's not a group. So you need to have a group of objects that are grouped in order to have turntable accessible or work for you. So let's give this a little go. I'm super excited for you to see this. So go ahead and select whatever vector you have and go ahead and click on turntable. And perhaps take a deep inhale and an exhale to give our stresses a way of being a designer or creative. Okay, it's ready. So now we can play with these elevations. I can go left. Whoa, that is so cool. Oh my goodness, that is so realistic. I'm such a good angle. Oh, wow, that is just incredible. Say I love this angle. I can click on insert view 
and it will make a duplicate of this view. So cool. And I can bring this back. Okay, let's do it again. Insert view. And perhaps I can give it another view. Perhaps like this. Wow, so cool. All right, let's do another one. Insert view. Pop it over here. And play. Isn't that so awesome? I'm really blown away, aren't you? Excuse my excitement for seeing a flat 3D shoe. Excuse my excitement, but I'm currently seeing a flat shoe turned into a 3D shoe, which is just mind blowing. This is so cool. Wow. All right. Thumbs up so far for turntable. Really, really cool. Awesome. Now we're going to try it with a few other drawings, perhaps a little bit more basic and maybe less exciting, but that's fine. So I'm going to do this tomato, tomato, and I'm going to click on turntable. It might be a bit too complex because there's multiple elements, but that's fine. I'll click on yes and hope for the best. Probably taking longer since it has more objects inside of it, I guess. All right, let's give it a little look. Ooh, looking good. I love it. It's more cartoony illustration, but I really like it. Probably not as incredible as the shoe, but that's because we're starting off with just a more basic drawing. And by the way, this drawing I generated through image trace in my beginners or Adobe Illustrator clause. If you want to check that out, feel free to do that. All right. So let's move on to the next object or illustration. Let's see, could try with the suitcase. So I'm going to select it and click on turntable. And again, yes, let's see. Okie dokie, let's try it. Ooh, that one was a bit more of a failure, I would say. All right, live and learn. And don't forget that this is still in beta, so it will only get better and better and better until it's actually released in Adobe Illustrator. And even then, Adobe will continue to develop it, I'm sure. So that's awesome. So moving on to another object. Ooh, I love this. I'd love to try this. So let's see if it's available and remember to group your illustration. So I'm going to click on turntable and use this opportunity for a nice inhale and exhale. Okay, ready to go. So let's start moving this around and see. Yeah, pretty cool. I wonder why the gray background appears, but I wonder if it's to do with it still being in beta and unsure. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? The detail in this angle is quite nice with where the stick, whatever it's called, stick uh, stand piece goes into the actual lamp piece. That's quite cool. Nice. You can even see the light bulb here. So really cool. And it's only going to get better quite like this angle. So yeah, let's try another one. Headphones. I love headphones. I'm currently using headphones on my head and this looks pretty similar to the ones I'm using. So let's try. Turntable it with the selection tool V click and turntable. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, very nice. I love this bit. Very nice. And this that you can see like an angle. 
This is lovely. Very cool. Something went a little bit wrong here, but it's not something that can be improved. You can just remove it by going to the direct selection tool and select this bit and remove it. But yeah, it did a pretty good job with the 3D. Awesome. Love that. Super cool. I think the more complicated the illustration, the better results it has, it seems. Correct me if I'm wrong. So this might be a little bit too simple, but I don't know. Let's have a little go for the final one. And obviously I would love for you to have a go with your own illustrations and shapes, perhaps characters as well. And just drop in the comment section what you think about the, this tool, what were your results? What would you like to see from this tool? So let's have a look at this little star that I also drew this time in my Adobe Illustrator Advanced class where you learn offset path. This is offset path to create this effect and adding shadows. All right. Nice. Hmm, that's cool. I think it would probably look better if it had like a stroke or a border. Black stroke. Perhaps undo and first add a stroke now, perhaps. And now click on turntable with a black border. Trying again, but this time with a black border. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, okay. Ooh, I love that it created a little perspective here, a little depth. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Love that. Kind of reminds me of some cookies. Like some butter and chocolate cookies. This is pretty cool. Very nice. But my favorite of all is hands down the shoe. This is just absolutely incredible. I'm absolutely blown away by these 3D angles and perspectives of this shoe. Wow. So please let me know what you think of this tool. My name is Kate Silver. And as always, it's an honor to teach you all the tips and tricks of Adobe and graphic design tools that I learn and share my insights with you. Thank you.